Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I think I'm finally ready to show you my plant room slash office. I've been working really hard on packing, organizing and cleaning and just trying to make things more accessible. And I finally think that things are presentable enough for me to show you guys. Obviously things are gonna get switched around as I go along, but for right now, I think they're pretty good. So without further ado, let's go see my plant room. Okay guys, let me just give you a quick run through of everything. So right when you walk in, I have this Ikea Billy bookcase and I have a Hartley philodendron here on the top. I have a basket, my watering can. So I just basically put some things on here that I thought that I would need. Um, here I have some woven baskets that I just put a few things in as well. Um, down here I have this wicker basket that has all my macrame in it. There's my totem pole cactus. And then down here, what I did was I kept all of the pots that I like the most. And I just did like a stack of them because I thought that would look pretty cool on display. So that's what that looks like here i have my red emerald philodendron that i need to add another totem pole to here is my monstera adansonii which i just repotted yesterday it was in the original hanging basket from Home Depot, but I finally broke down and repotted it into this really heavy pot right here. It's giving it a lot more space to breathe. Hopefully it'll thrive even more. And then here I have my egg chair. I love this egg chair. This one is actually by Better Homes and Gardens. Got it from Walmart and when I was looking for the egg chair, I was doing a comparison of the ones that they had at Target, Walmart, Lowe's, and Home Depot. And I think it was Lowe's that had one for like 700 and some dollars. And I saw this one and this was about 330. And I was like, you know what? This is perfect for what I need it for. And so I went ahead and got it. And I just love the way it looks here in the room. Here, I put a couple of pillows from ikea this is like a really pretty sage color cover from ikea and here i have some more plants most of these stands here are from ikea or either home goods like that one's ikea that's ikea home goods and then i have a stool back there i think that's ross and then some baskets and then here I have a west facing window and I open this every morning. You can see through the blinds that there's a lake back there, which I absolutely love. That's all my backyard. I go back there every morning and walk my dog. I wanna show you the iguana back there. If you can see, he's moving right now. But anyway, over here, 
I have two storage cabinets and one of them I store all my plant supplies, but the one on the left I store all of my t-shirt supplies. If you guys didn't know, I also own a t-shirt company where I sell t-shirts and mugs and other personalized items, mostly all plant related. And this is where I store all of my supplies. And on top of there, I have some propagation bottles. And I actually bought these from Big Lots a while back. This is, these right here are like a pretty amber color. And I had all these propagations going on before I moved here. These are mostly plants that were growing really big and I pruned them. And so instead of just throwing them out, I just propagated them and they look pretty inside the bottles. And then I have these over here that I don't have anything in so far except for this bro marks that I accidentally broke off of this plant. And I have my ZZ. I also threw some stakes up here because they're really long. And here I have these stakes right here from Target that were only a dollar each. So I stocked up on those. Got like three of the black ones and then one of the green ones but yeah as far as these stakes go what i'm gonna do is see if i can find like a tall vase or something that you can store like umbrellas in or something like that but for now i'm just gonna keep them up here and over here is my new plant wall so you know in the last apartment that i was in i only had two shelves but now i have Four. So I fit quite a lot of plants on there. Um, as you can see on the right there, I have one, two, three, four, five on the top and the bottom. So I fit like at least five plants on each shelf. Um, I have been moving some around. So there's about 20 plants up there right now. Um, down here, I have an Ikea bookshelf with four squares. Um, most of the plants that I have here are actually plants that I'm growing in water, but there's also other ones on here as well. And I also have these little propagation stations. This one is from Walmart. And that's my Aglaonema Pictum Tricolor. Not doing too good, but I'm trying to get those roots going again. There's one right there, so not too bad. Um, also, here's my Philodendron Mayoi that I have growing in water. I change the water out once a week, by the way, because it gets kind of nasty. I also have my Alocasia Dragon Scale. This one's getting like a little funky on the ends. I don't know what's up with that, but I gotta stay on top of it. Over here, I have my Anthurium radicans, also growing in water. I have a ZZ here. I love this pot right here. It's like a textured gray pot. I got this from Lowe's a long time ago. And down here, have more Plants growing water. I have my philodendron Florida ghost. This is a painted lady. And I have a, let's see, this is the Paraiso Verde, I think. Yeah. Look at that. And over here, I have my Anthurium crystallinum, also growing in water as well as my variegated peace lily. Then over here, I have a Piper crocatum. This is one of the newer plants that I've gotten recently. Loving it so far, it's so pretty. Look at the back. Back there, I have a type of philodendron and doesn't look like anything much right now because I had it outside and when the guys were painting the house, they stuck it in direct sunlight and the thing got all burnt up. And so I had to prune it down and hopefully I can bring it back. 
It's probably gonna need a little bit more sun, but just had to put it somewhere for now. Here I have even more propagations. Here is a Syndapsis pictus, some golden pothos. Down here I have my Anthurium plowmanii. And then I have some cacti down here. This is kind of like a temporary spot. It's kind of dark down here, but I had to put them somewhere. Probably gonna get another plant stand outside so I can put those on. And then here on the right and the left, I have two really pretty Marble Queen pothos. Love these. And this one's on a, on a hanger right now, but I'll probably take that off eventually and put it in a different pot. I just want to get everything in a place for right now. Also over here, I have a trellis back there and I have this tray that sometimes I use for potting plants. Got that from Target Dollar Spot. Here I have a neon pothos. And then over here, I have a couple of plant stands. And then I just put some of the larger pots right here in a basket. This is just temporary, but at least they're out the way. And then over here, I have another plant stand. This is from Home Goods. And I just have a bunch of other plants on here. No real rhyme or reason. This is my baby right here, though. I am loving this Florida Beauty. I think it's Florida Green. Man, look at this new leaf that it just recently put out. I'm so impressed with this plant. It's so easy care and beautiful. I love it. Here I have my Silver Sword Philodendron. And this one did get a little damaged in the move right here. The leaf got a little cut up, but I left it on there anyway. This one's a slow grower in my opinion. Hopefully when I repot it to new soil and a bigger pot, it can start growing a little bit better. Back there I have an Aglaonema Dalmatian. Here I have an Emerald Green Pothos. Raven ZZ. And guys, I just wanna show you how black these leaves are like, I love this. This is one of my oldest Raven ZZs from Costa Farms. And I love it because it's so black in comparison to my other Raven ZZ that I have. Like this is literally black, but this one is starting to look green. And I know it needs to be repotted. That is on my list. And that's why it's starting to get like, orangey and yellow on the ends because it's pretty much root bound but just wanted to show you the comparison of the color like I love this one right here this one also needs to be repotted also here is my silver syndapsis pictus moonlight trubii down here on the bottom, I have my terrarium. This is from the terrarium that I built on my channel. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it above. So if you were interested in an update, this is how it's looking right now. Honestly, I never even do anything to this and it just does well on its own. There's a little syngonium in there and then there's some nerve plants. Here is my Philodendron Gloriosum. This is a small version. This is actually one of the original leaves. And these just came out this year. There was actually one more and it got ripped in the move, unfortunately. But it looks like two new leaves are coming out right here. One here and one here. So actually no it's one right here that's the one i had to cut off because it got ripped but yeah that's that stand right there and then here i just have a couple of my golden goddesses and this one right here is actually a thai sunrise mix 
found this on clearance at Walmart. And I just put those in these urban jungle pots and that's on this little stand right here. And then over here is my work desk so far. Nothing too great about this, but it does the job. This is my planner by Mombi. Love this one, it's plant themed. It says plant dreams and grow a happy life. Also have these prayer cards that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Gotta open these, but I thought this was pretty with the leaves on the box. So, so far this wall is blank, but I have some art that I'm gonna put up here and I can't wait to get it up there. I'll show you guys an update once things start going up on more of the walls, but I really don't wanna put too much cause I think that the plants are enough already and I don't want it to look overly cluttered, but I am gonna put a piece of art right here that I purchased and it's so cute, can't wait to show you. Um, here I have some space, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna put anything there. Like I said, I wanna keep it a little bit less cluttered, but I do have space on that side and this side. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I might use those black rings to do like a plant, like a little display of plants on the plant rings over here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I have these plant hangers that I got from Walmart. These are for eight inch plants, but I also purchased some from Amazon for six inch because most of my plants are in six inch pots. So I have a few of these and a few six inch. So I was thinking of maybe doing maybe three on this side of these because obviously I'm gonna be purchasing new plants and I'm gonna need somewhere to put them. Now this side is a little crowded, but I probably could fit maybe three on this side as well. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited about my new plant room and office. And I just feel so fortunate that I'm able to have this space that's dedicated to my plants. And, you know, to be able to work out of a space like this that just brings me so much joy. So just a quick update. I actually switched some things around on this Billy bookcase. I forgot I had all of my plant books stored away in a box in the garage. So I did want to have those here in my room. So I took the baskets away and I put those in my master bathroom instead. So I'll be organizing some things in there with those, but that was a little bit of an update to my plant room that I wanted to insert here. Some of these are plant books and some are home decor books, which are two of my favorite things. So yeah, guys, that's a quick look at my new plant room slash office. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. And so as I add more things to the room, I'll keep you guys updated. And if you want me to do a full houseplant tour, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do that now that everything's in place. I just wanna thank all of you for subscribing to my channel and those of you that have been with me for a while now, I just wanna say thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe for more plant content. And I have quite a few ideas for upcoming videos, so I'm really excited for that. And if you have any ideas for videos that you would like me to do, leave a comment about that down below as well. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed Until it. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and take care.